Five, four, three, two, pull up. Dead hang. Dead hang. Everybody, Breakfast Club here, Paul and Kendall. Um, we're gonna kind of show you what the breakfast challenge was today. It's whoever could get the most pull ups in 60 seconds. All right, so we did the normal grip, all right, chin ups, the more moderate version that most people probably use, try to build up the muscle for the pull ups. We're using an assisted band. All right, Kendall's gonna show us an example. So, what's gonna happen, you're gonna take the band, pull it down, you're gonna put your foot in it, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna step, push your leg down, and it'll help assist you up. Okay, so that's the band, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then the more advanced people, me, Aaron, and Jordan, we did the normal ones. That's our hands. Strict pull-ups, all right? We tried not to do any kipping or anything like that. Just normal chin over the bars, okay? Like that, and then back down. So that's what our breakfast challenge was, obviously. All right, so don't brag about it, thanks. We had to knock him off his pedestal because he won too many, so we had to put him in place a little bit. He got a big head. So keep watching, check where we're going for uh, breakfast this morning. Breakfast Club, out. To breakfast. To breakfast. <laughs> Welcome to this week's segment of Paul's Booty Burners. We're gonna start, you guys probably might have seen it if you watch my uh, colleague Aaron's videos. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna do our band, all right? Side steps, but we're gonna throw in kettlebells. All right, so what's gonna happen is, you're gonna grab a kettlebell of your choosing, your size, whatever you can work with. All right, have a band, elastic band across your thighs like this, above the knee. Five kettlebell swings. All right, you're gonna take two steps to your right, one step to your left. Two steps to your right, one step to your left. All right, you're gonna do that all the way down until you get to the next kettlebell. All right, again, it's gonna be the same weight, or you can increase it, whatever you wanna do. Five kettlebell swings. All right, two steps to your left, one step to your right. All right, you can do that all the way down to the next kettlebell, all right? That's one set. You can do that for about four to five rotations, and it's really gonna burn your booty. All right, guys, so today we are doing something fun. It is the start of our Chair Fittable December. Okay, so we have partnered with City Union Mission, and each Friday we will be giving something as a charity, giving back to them. So we're starting out just like we started the Breakfast Club with taking them Lamar's Donuts. Thank you to Blue Springs Lamar's. They have donated um, over 85 donuts to City Union Mission, and then we will each Friday announce um, what we are doing for the giving of the week. So we ask you for next Friday, or this coming Friday since we're posting this on Tuesday, to help us raise toilet paper to give to them next Friday. So we will go there first, and then we are off to the Classic Cup on the Plaza, which is one of my favorites. Um, I used to always do it before tennis matches, so I'm pretty excited. Alrighty. Donut time. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. my.
famous place. All right, when you watch the video, take a look around. We got a whisper. All right, we're underdressed. But look at this chocolate milk. All right. Look it looks this. really fancy. Really fancy, okay? But you it's... gotta drink it like this. With a pinky out, pinky. okay? But listen, it is obviously the sturry kind, okay? Smells like the sturry kind. You can see the chocolate that's added into it. Taste the sturry kind. I think it's skim milk. Could be skim milk. I think we're supposed to stir in water down. Sides. I can't get <laughs> Good. Zoom in on that pinky. Andy stole Pinky's out. Get that little swirl. We gotta get the swirl. And then you gotta sniff. And then whenever you drink, drink it, you have to go. Because it hits the back end. Do you know what? I got chocolate milk. You saw him yet. Happy birthday to you. Oh no. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. It'll yeah. be Christmas caroling next week, everybody. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got the was it called the low carb scramble can? Low carb veggie scramble. So it's two Campo Lindo eggs, which are a um, local farm fresh eggs here. So I loved that. Um, there was zucchini, broccoli, carrots, um, onion, and tomatoes mixed in with it. And then um, a little bit of feta on top. I obviously didn't get the feta for the dairy, but it was delicious. Um, highly, highly recommend. Very on point if you're trying to stay on a healthy lifestyle. So definitely, definitely recommend the low carb vegetarian. So I got the egg sandwich. Uh, it had two fried eggs, cheddar cheese, tomatoes, and then some really thick, good, delicious bacon on it. Uh, just a couple pieces of toast. I, I had this sandwich a few years ago. It was really good. It was just as good as I remember it. Potatoes were nice and crispy. Uh, definitely uh, a good place to just come in and have a good brunch and hang out with some good people. Okay, so what I got today, I got an omelet. All right, it was a turkey omelet with tomatoes and avocado. I got rid of the cheese. I get enough of mine with the the dairy from the chocolate milk. I also got a biscuit on the side instead of fries because fries in the morning don't sound good to me. I also got gravy on the side so I can put gravy on my biscuit because who doesn't like biscuits and gravy in the morning? I got pancakes. I haven't finished them all yet, but I got two buttermilk pancakes, thick bacon. I got really thick bacon here. A little bit of syrup on top. Protein, carbs. It's all you need after a workout. So I got the low carb veggie scramble with a side of bacon and fruit. So with the holidays right around the corner, obviously there's lots of temptations with sweets and everything. So I'm trying to be the best that I can with all of my other meals because I do fall into those temptations a little bit. So it was two scrambled eggs with just a load of veggies. Like this is what I have left of the veggies. Um, and drizzled with like a little bit of feta cheese, which I love because it adds that little extra flavor to it. I thought it was very delicious. I haven't dug into my fruit yet, but it looks just as good as everything else. And the bacon was extremely thick and flavorful as well. Oh, we're going. <laughs> oh, I still gotta talk. I forgot. Are you rolling? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so I had. Hopefully you can hear my voice is raspy. It's out, but I have the country omelet. I got uh, bacon, sausage, onions. Uh, pretty much my typical. And then they got a big a la carte menu, so I added some bacon and a biscuit. Um, I didn't really want too much bread, so I didn't want pancakes or French toast, which I'm glad I didn't get. I would have had a to-go basket, all that, I didn't want all that. Um, a doggy bag, that's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> doggy bag, to-go basket, take it home. I heard things very good, originally priced. I will be back. <laughs> Take too much of your time. We were just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what makes Classic Couple different or your favorite dish. Um, yeah, um, well, we've been around, we've been on the plaza for about 30 years now, and wow. so far is like kind of what maybe makes us a little different. I, I mean, it's just like traditional breakfast with a couple of twists. Um, my favorite dishes are probably we just started doing breakfast tacos. Oh, wow, you missed out on that. I miss out on that. And that's probably my favorite thing that we do. The pancakes are kind of what we're known for. Okay. We try to do some options that are healthier to kind of 
like the low carb scramble yep. and that was delicious. stuff like that. if they get cornered. I, I, tell me I, I, more. Yeah, tell us. And they got claws, okay. and there's like six on each. They have five good ones, and there's like a little one that dangles. Like, <laughs> look, it's next, a dude claw. Ne next, next, oh yeah, pet man, look. Next, <laughs> next time you see a raccoon, look for the, what, what did you call it? The dude claw. <laughs> Who's out here naming raccoons like that? I don't know, Edward, like. <laughs> I Jeff know. or something? I don't know. It's not the better. You can name like bacon or sausage? How about Ricky? Ricky oh, Raccoon. Ricky, I like Ricky, Ricky, Ricky okay. the Raccoon. They rhyme. Martens. Ricardo. <laughs> Martens the Raccoon. I personally like Martens. No, I like that. <laughs> but hey.